The Somalia Airport Rehabilitation Project is an initiative aimed at improving the safety and efficiency of air travel in Somalia. There are several ongoing projects, most notably the recent rehabilitation of the Shati Gadud International Airport in Baidoa. The Shati Gadud International Airport Rehabilitation Project was a collaborative effort between the United Nations Support Office in Somalia, UNSOS, and the administration of Somalia's southwest state. The project's main focus was on the runway, which hadn't received proper maintenance since it was built in 1972. Here's a breakdown of the rehabilitation works done. Extensive resurfacing of the asphalt runway. Widening of taxiways to accommodate larger aircraft. These improvements allow the airport to handle a larger volume of traffic and ensure the safe landing and takeoff of bigger airplanes. This is crucial for supporting economic growth and humanitarian efforts in the region. The rehabilitation of the Shati Gadud International Airport is a significant step forward for Somalia's aviation sector. It is expected to serve as a model for future airport improvement projects in the country. Other Somali airports identified for potential rehabilitation include Aden Adda International Airport in Mogadishu and Hargeisa International Airport in Hargeisa. There are a few notable solar power projects underway in Somalia, each contributing to increased access to clean energy in the country. Here are a couple of leading examples. Bosasso Solar Power Plant. This 3.5 MW solar power plant, inaugurated in late 2023, is a major boost for the commercial hub of Bosasso in Puntland. Funded by the Abu Dhabi Fund for Development, the project aims to address the city's electricity needs while reducing reliance on expensive and polluting diesel generators. Somalia MEGA Solar Project, funded by the World Bank's Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency, MEGA, this project involves a solar plant in Baidoa. It provides clean energy to an estimated 30,000 households and represents a significant step towards sustainable energy use, particularly for UN operations in Somalia. Daya Electric Power Company, DEPCO, Solar Project. This initiative focuses on converting a diesel-powered mini-grid in a Budwak to a solar plus storage hybrid system. In addition to reducing reliance on diesel, the project plans to create Somalia's first tradable energy attribute certificates, EACs. Proceeds from EAC sales will then fund a community solar street light -like project, further enhancing the lives of Abudwak residents. These projects, along with the work of companies like Somali Solar, which supplies solar power systems throughout Somalia, are paving the way for a brighter future powered by clean energy. There are several Somalia water projects working to improve access to clean, reliable water in the country. Here are a couple of leading examples. Barwako, Somalia Water for Rural Resilience Project. This World Bank-funded project is a multi-phase initiative with the goal of increasing access to water in rural areas of Somalia. The project utilizes innovative sand dam construction techniques to capture rainwater in dry riverbeds. Phase 1, known as the Beal Project, meaning, water carrier, in Somali, was a successful pilot that proved the viability of the sand dam approach. Phase 2, known as Barwako, meaning, blessing, or, prosperity, in Somali, is currently ongoing and aims to expand access to water for both people and livestock. Kismayo Baidoa Urban Water Supply and Sanitation Project, this African Development Bank-funded project focuses on improving access to safe water and sanitation in the towns of Kismayo and Baidoa. The project involves the rehabilitation of existing water treatment facilities, expansion of water network pipelines, and construction of new sanitation facilities. Improved water access and sanitation will contribute to better public health outcomes and economic development in these communities. These are just a few examples of the many Somalia water projects working to address the country's water challenges. By providing clean water to rural and urban communities, these projects are helping to improve the lives of millions of Somalis.
While there isn't information readily available about a singular large-scale Somalia sports complex project, there have been significant efforts towards renovating and improving existing sports facilities in the country. These renovations are crucial for promoting sports participation, fostering a sense of community, and potentially boosting Somalia's standing in international athletics. Here are some noteworthy examples. Kony's Stadium Rehabilitation Funded by FIFA through their forward program, Kony's Stadium in Mogadishu underwent a major renovation in 2013. Works included installation of artificial turf, improvements to the dressing rooms, and an enlarged tribune to seat more spectators. Somali Football Federation, SFF, headquarters and stadium Mogadishu Hotel project, also funded by FIFA's forward program. This project combined the construction of a new headquarters for the Somali Football Federation with a hotel adjacent to the Mogadishu Stadium. The project aimed to not only improve the administrative capabilities of the SFF, but also generate revenue to support future football development initiatives. These projects, along with others like the renovation of the ex Lugino Basketball Stadium, represent a positive step forward for Somali sports infrastructure. It's important to note that Somalia still faces challenges in fully redeveloping its sports facilities due to funding limitations. are undergoing a period of expansion, driven by several factors. New port construction. A brand new deep water port is being built in Garad, Puntland, aimed at improving food security in the region. New Somali port enters into the East Africa port competition arena. Existing port expansion. Existing ports like Bosasso are also seeing upgrades. DP World, a Dubai-based logistics company, is investing millions into expanding the capacity and modernizing the facilities at Bosasso, DP World to modernize Somalia's Bosasso port as it expands African ops. These expansions are expected to benefit Somalia in a few ways. Increased trade. By offering modern facilities and deeper water access, Somalia's ports will be able to handle larger cargo ships, potentially increasing trade volumes. Economic growth. The development of these ports is expected to create jobs and boost the Somali economy. Food security. The new port in Garad is specifically designed to streamline food imports into a region often struck by food shortages. Overall, Somalia's port expansion reflects growing confidence in the country's stability and future economic potential. Somalia has several ongoing education projects aimed at improving access to education and its quality. Here's a breakdown of a few key initiatives. Somalia Education for Human Capital Development Project. This World Bank-funded project focuses on developing a skilled workforce by improving teacher training, curriculum development, and access to learning materials. World Bank website. Bar Arma Baro, Teach or Learn. This USAID program targets reintegrating out of school children back into the education system. It aims to reach over 100,000 children by two, USAID website. Somalia Girls Education Program. This UN Women project tackles the specific barriers faced by girls, particularly those in rural areas, to access primary and secondary education, UNGAY website. Adolescent Girls Education in Somalia, Ages, another USAID initiative, Ages offers non-formal education to adolescent girls who haven't attended school before. The program focuses on literacy, numeracy, and financial skills, USAID website. These projects represent a multi-pronged approach to improving Somalia's education system. Their goals include increasing enrollment rates, especially for girls. Improving the quality of education through trained teachers and better learning materials. Providing opportunities for out-of-school children and young women. Overall, Somalia's education projects aim to empower the country's youth and build a stronger future. Mogadishu is undergoing several road projects aimed at improving transportation infrastructure within the city and connecting it to other regions of Somalia. Here are some of the key initiatives. Mogadishu Afgoye Road Rehabilitation. This project, funded by the African Development Bank, AFDB, 
aims to rehabilitate and upgrade the 30-kilometer road between Mogadishu and Afgoye. Upgrading this crucial corridor will enhance connectivity, stimulate economic growth in the region, and improve travel times. Jofar Mogadishu Corridor Another significant project is the upgrading of the 90-kilometer Jofar Mogadishu Corridor. This project will improve access to essential services and markets, facilitate trade, and reduce travel times for residents. Qatar Funded Major Road Project Funded by the Qatar Fund for Development QFFD, this project involves constructing a modern dual carriage tarmac road from Mogadishu to Afgoye and Jofar via Balad towns. This project will significantly improve transportation efficiency for people and goods between Mogadishu and surrounding areas. Somalia Regional Corridors Infrastructure Program SRCIP. This project, partially funded by the African Development Bank, involves the construction and rehabilitation of roads across several regions of Somalia, including a 60-kilometer gravel road built through community initiative in Jubaland states. This initiative contributes to the larger Mogadishu Baidoa Afgoye Dolo Road Corridor Rehabilitation. These road projects are crucial for Somalia's development as they will improve connectivity within Mogadishu and surrounding areas, facilitate trade and economic growth, reduce travel times and improve access to essential services, create jobs and boost the local economy. The successful completion of these projects is expected to contribute significantly to a more prosperous and stable future for Somalia. Somalia has several pipeline projects underway aimed at improving access to clean and safe water for its citizens. Here are a few notable examples. Kismayo Baidoa Water Supply Project. This project, funded by the African Development Bank, AFDB, aims to increase access to safe water, improve sanitation, and strengthen the capacity for water service delivery in Kismayo and Baidoa towns. The project is designed to benefit residents of both towns, including those living in poverty. Puntland Water System Rehabilitation This project, implemented by UNICEF in partnership with the Puntland authorities, focuses on bringing clean water to residents of Bosasso. The project involved rehabilitating the town's water tank, laying new pipelines, and overhauling the water system. This initiative significantly increased the capacity of the water system, allowing for more residents to be connected. Somaliland Water Infrastructure Development Program. This program funded by the African Development Bank, AFDB, focuses on building resilience and improving access to clean water in drought-stricken areas of Somaliland. The program involves constructing small-scale to medium-scale water storage facilities and utilizing groundwater sources. The project also incorporates training on water resource conservation and community management. These pipeline projects play a vital role in improving the lives of Somalis by increasing access to clean and safe drinking water, reducing waterborne diseases, contributing to improved public health and hygiene, boosting the resilience of communities to drought. Somalia faces many challenges in terms of water security, but these pipeline projects are a positive step towards a future where all Somalis have access to clean water.